STP Pro Series intake valve cleaner works to remove carbon buildup on a direct injection engine or GVI. We perform two different styles of tests to really make sure it lives up to the great claims. And it also works for port fuel injection as well. You can see it says to be a professional style treatment. We take two intake valves and we'll add them to oil vapor. But not just any oil vapor. We're going to use oil vapor from an oil catch can. This is what they're having to deal with on a regular basis. Or a GDI engine, even a port fuel injection engine, can get carbon buildup issues. But we're going to find out once and for all. Now we'll use our torch to heat it up and allow it to reach extreme temperatures. And it will build up on these valves. Then we'll come back once they're finished burning and we'll use them for some testing. But now, let's go inside this GDI engine and show you just how bad these intake valves are. I guarantee you they're the worst you've seen. Oh my goodness. The first, the second valve, the next, third valve, fourth valves. Guys, this is incredible. Now, does this cleaner actually work? Well, you guys saw a glimpse of the great results. But, what else? for modern engines and a lot of other applications. You can see it's supposed to be really easy to use and it only takes nine minutes to disperse the cleaner. It would appear the instructions say for us to remove the boot from the throttle body plate area. So we'll go ahead and do that. Pull it back. It would look like we need to Loosen up this air box as well so we can do so. Now we'll insert the metal end of this in between the boot and aim it at the throttle plate. Now we'll tighten everything back up and we'll continue with our testing. Go ahead and start the engine. Go ahead and make sure you're up to about 3000 RPMs and definitely follow the instructions to a T. Now, let's go ahead and make sure that our operating temperature is up before raising the RPMs, guys. And I use a pole between the seat and the pedal to hold the RPM steady. Now, you can go ahead and turn the red knob to the eye mark, and next you'll turn the blue knob to the eye mark as well. Make sure that you turn the red knob first, guys. Remember, the test lasts for nine minutes so what we want to do is go ahead and start our timer and at about eight minutes what we're going to do is save the last minute of fluid and I don't recommend you doing this but I'm going to this way we can test it on the intake valves that I had shown you guys earlier that we had burnt on the carbon buildup you saw there was really not much exhaust smoke you can see it better in person than on camera you can see the fluid flowing through this little tube. Hey, and always remember, if you got any ideas on what we should test next, make sure to let us know in the comments below. You guys come up with the best ideas for sure. Warning, do not, guys, have your hands in this area, especially while the engine's on. Do not reach your hands in here around any moving parts or anything extremely hot. The next step, we'll go ahead and loosen this boot back up so we can remove the straw and place the boot back on properly, align it properly, tighten everything back up, such as the air box, don't forget, and we'll go ahead and move the cleaner out of the way. Now it's time to go back inside the engine just to see how well this did or didn't work. And as you saw in the beginning, this was incredible. Now, let's move on to these intake valves, guys. I'm not so sure about this one, but we left them out in the hot sun. Hopefully that was enough heat. And we'll go ahead and shake this up, make sure that we get enough fluid on everything. Apparently we started the timer perfectly. Now, as I said, don't waste any of your fluid. I'm really curious to see if this works or not. 
Guys, don't forget, if you want to know more information about STP Pro Series Intake Valve Cleaner or where you can find it, just check out the link in the description below. Okay, and it seems that it would be out of flood and just in time. Nine minutes, just like they claim. Well, so far the claims have been pretty good by STP. And I'll shake this up again now that it's had plenty of time to sit. I allowed it to sit for a day and, like I said, placed it in the sun. Moment of truth. Is it actually... Oh, wow. Yeah, it actually did make a difference. Now, granted, it didn't remove everything, but for the most part, and I'm telling you, this was on here bad. I mean, no question about it. It was very thick and incredibly it removed it now those hard problem areas guys if you wait too long it's just going to make it even more difficult and you may have to walnut blast but it's definitely going to help thanks for watching nate's interactive auto